Once located at Prospect Park, the old arena was a place of sport and recreation for the community of Acton. In April of 1928, a proposal was brought forward to Acton Village Council that would see the erection of a covered ice rink for the use of skating, curling, and hockey at the cost of $15,000. Before an indoor rink, skating and other winter games would be played outdoors under the Maria Street Bridge or on Ferry Lake. After more than a year of planning and final approval, construction for the arena started in September of 1929 with the clearing and leveling of land on the area where the arena would be placed. A group of men and teams of horses would be used to help with the process. By October, the arena started to take shape with the raising of the wall frames and the pouring of concrete for the floor. Work went quickly to build the arena and would be ready for use by December, with the official opening held on Christmas Day, December 25th. The curling rink would take a little more time to be ready, with its opening three weeks later on January 16th. Despite being in the midst of the Great Depression, the arena saw much use as there would always be a hockey game or a curling match taking place on a weekly basis with recreational skating happening throughout the season for a small user fee as a way to help cover operating costs. Along with being used for hockey and ice sport, the arena was also utilized for other activities such as ladies softball and the Acton Fall Fair. Over the years, the arena's use would even expand to lacrosse, rodeos, and dancing. During World War II, the arena was leased for the war effort for the storage of wool for three years until December 1945. While all was running smoothly for the arena, tragedy would eventually strike on March 20th, 1960, when a heavy snowfall would cause the roof of the curling rink to collapse, but it did not disrupt the use of the arena. After a year of indecision amongst town council, the Acton Free Press, backed by Mayor John Goy, started a campaign to replace the damaged curling rink with a goal of $60,000. At the end of the campaign, a total of $66,000 was raised by the citizens of Acton, and a new curling rink and community center was constructed at the front of the arena. In addition, an artificial ice system was also installed with the remaining funds. The Acton Arena would see continual use for another 30 years until the 1990s when the town of Halton Hills started to look at replacing the aging facility. After much discussion and even heated debate, the decision was made to construct a new arena on Queen Street East and demolish the old arena at Prospect Park. The new $5.1 million arena and community center officially opened on February 1st, 1998 and by late 1998, the old arena was demolished. The Acton Fall Fair would be forced to use a tent for the home crafts until a new building was built in 2007 on the site of the former arena. While the physical arena is gone, the memory and photos continue to live on for Acton's first indoor arena.